everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Danielle for those of you who are brand new around here and I love to talk about affordable living and intentional homemaking and today on the channel I thought it would be super fun if we went through my house I did a little home tour of all of my favorite thrifted items that we've collected over the years so my very first item on this little home tour is our buffet hutch that sits in our dining room. I absolutely love this hutch. I love all of the details. I love the glass. I love the window painting in the glass. I think it is super beautiful. And my husband and I found this, well actually my husband found it, on Facebook Marketplace and they were giving it away for free. I could not even believe it. At first, I wasn't even sure if I really liked it all that much, but once they said it was for free, we decided to check it out and I love it. And the only thing that I really had to do to spruce it up was change out the hardware. So I changed the knobs and the pulls and I love how it came out. And it is now one of my absolute favorite pieces in our home. So this beautiful bookcase my husband and I found on an anniversary trip when we were wandering through our favorite Habitat for Humanity nearby. I absolutely love this one particular Habitat. There's a bunch of them near us, but I love this one particular one because it has fantastic furniture for crazy affordable rates. So this was $75 and it was absolutely beautiful in perfect condition. I absolutely loved all the details about it. It sits in the stairwell going up to our second floor and I love these sort of garage window style doors that just slide up. So we have some of our favorite books in here. It's a beautiful showpiece and I absolutely love the life that it gives to this space. I think that it is a great addition to our house. The next thing that I absolutely love that's been thrifted in our home is our vintage book collection. I have been working on collecting different vintage books for years now and I have them kind of all over the house in different areas, even in my son's room for decor. They are just so stunning and they add so much dimension to our house and I will probably collect vintage books forever. My next favorite piece in our house is this vintage Singer sewing machine. It is an actual Singer sewing machine. It sat on my grandparents' back deck for the longest time and I actually think it was like my great aunt's sewing machine. The sewing machine is still in it and today we use it as our coffee bar. The only thing that I really did to spruce this up was to add some paint around it to give it a little bit of a distressed fun look and I absolutely love it and this was completely free because it was passed down from my grandparents to myself. The next thing in our house tour is actually my son's rug. I love this rug and I found it at a local Habitat for Humanity, not the one that has the great furniture. This one has fantastic rugs and not only do they have rugs for really affordable prices, but we got it on the day that they were having their rug sale. So we got this beautiful 8 by 11 rug for five dollars i'm not even kidding you it is absolutely stunning i love the style we have kind of like a safari theme in his room and it just adds so much of that look and style without being really young and immature and i love this rug it is one of my favorite finds in the entire house Moving on to our next find. This is actually two finds that we actually built a entire piece out of and it is our laundry room sink. And the sink itself, I kid you not, we found on Facebook Marketplace for $30. To this day, I think it's one of the best deals we've ever gotten. And then the piece that it sits on, the furniture piece that it sits on, I believe we got for $95 also on Facebook Marketplace. And my husband did some magic and made an entire sink piece out of it. And I love how it looks now. It's the perfect piece in our laundry room. 
The next thrift find that I actually really love are my dishes. And I specifically have one dish that I love, but I wanted to show you these first because they're very cool. These are my great grandmother's china and I absolutely love them. We use them for everyday wear and they're fantastic. But my favorite thrifted find are these Liberty Blue Independence Hall plates from Ironstone. We live near Philadelphia. I've said that before in my videos and it just makes me think of my city and I absolutely love how beautiful these are and I will continue to collect these until I have a larger set of them. My next thrift find is also a Habitat for Humanity find. Guys, I basically live at Habitat for Humanity. I love all of their pieces, but I found this beautiful high boy dresser that we have now put into our dining room. I love it. It keeps kind of our serving dishes that we don't use a lot. It keeps a lot of our tablecloths and whatnot in it. And I found this in the exact condition that it is right now, all distressed and chippy and whatnot. And I absolutely love it. I feel like it adds so much drama to our dining room. It's beautiful. I love all the original hardware on it. It's just such a stunning piece of furniture. And like I said, it's super functional because it is a great item for storage. And we have a place to like put some decorations on throughout the seasons as well. So I love this piece. And I got this for $60 at Habitat for Humanity. And then the very last piece on this little house tour is my son's changing table slash dresser. This is also a Habitat for Humanity find. This was $70 at our local Habitat for Humanity and it is a French provincial buffet that I thought would be absolutely perfect as a changing table slash dresser. So all of my son's cloth diapers and clothes are in the drawers in the middle and then the cabinets on the outsides have either toys or socks or like when he was a little bit younger he used to keep like his sleep sacks and stuff like that in here. And this piece is gonna get so much utilization out of it over the years. That's what I absolutely loved about it. Once we have the two boys sharing a room, they'll be able to share this piece and each have like a nice section of storage a piece, which I think is wonderful. And once I got it home, I just painted it with some beautiful green chalk paint and I love how it came out. So thank you guys so much again for watching. I really appreciate it. I pray that you are having a wonderful new year and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.